Alright, what's going on guys? This is Davis from Unleash the Beast. And um, I just wanted to uh, come and tell y'all just real quick uh, that I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking in this video besides telling you the macronutrients for the food um, for this first little part of the video because I do a whole in-depth in review of my diet recap and how my diet went. So this first meal was basically eggs and uh, ready-made rice and it was a thousand 40 calories, 52 grams of protein, 82 grams of carbs, and 44 grams of fat. Um, so, this is all sped up, obviously. I seasoned the hell out of these eggs. Um, but I wanted to do this little voiceover uh, because, uh, you know, just so you have something besides me just cooking, you know, music and macros. Um, I really go into depth about how my diet went and what I did. Uh, for dieting uh, to get to the, my level of leanness and now what I'm doing to go back up or uh, the reverse diet excuse me so there you go that was that pretty much that meal being made I think it was like five eggs and, and some rice this is uh, obviously a protein shake and it's uh, pretty filled to the brim we got my creatine right here so this was 760 calories, uh, 124 grams of protein, 32 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. And guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave you. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll catch right, you in the next one. What's going on, guys? This is Davis from Unleash the Beast. And it's kind of weird seeing myself in a camera. God dang. Fucking cheeks look chubby, hair looks like fucking shit. Just finished my workout, and uh, it, was a, it was a chest workout. If anybody doesn't know, I recently just came off of a diet, I recently just came off of a, a cutting diet, so I guess this is gonna be, it's gonna have a day of eating. The things that I ate today were like literally two things, so I guess I'm just gonna like start doing a little vlog at the end of it like I'm doing right now. Meals were so short, I literally ate my entire calorie, uh, my entirely, uh, my entire daily calories within the first meal. Like, uh, it was like two meals, but it was literally just like a meal and a shake. It was like eggs and a, and a shake, and that added up to 1800 calories exactly on my fitness pal. Um, and I'm sure, you know, if I went through the macros, the macros are probably different. So, I just came off of a diet, which is, you know, fuck. I don't know, man, I'm, I think I'm seeing fucking gains, like, even on this low fucking calorie consumption. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I've never, like, felt this lean, but still had, like, just this much, you know? Like, I, I don't know if it's just because my protein intake is so fucking high, or or what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update uh, of how I'm doing. Having some problems with women here recently, like, not sexually. Uh, sexually is fucking good, but just like, they never fucking get me. It's fucking weird, you know? It's like, they just never fucking get me. And, you know, I'm getting to the point now where I just kind of want to give up. <laughs> not, on, not on women, not like become like a fucking queer or something, and sorry if you're fucking gay, but uh, yeah, not not like that, I mean, I'm definitely heterosexual, it's just fucking, I, I, I don't know, <coughs> they just drive me fucking nuts, I mean, I love to bang them, I love taking them out, I like talking to them in person, but it's just, it's like, it's like as soon as you turn your back, man, it's like, bam, you know? So yeah, that's going on. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I just came off of a diet, and basically my calories went all the way as low as 1,600. And I started the cut at like I'm like five, uh, ten, five eleven. So I dieted all the way down to 1,600 calories, which is is pretty low. Um, I wanted to get like that shredded kind of kind of look going and I'll throw up my best picture right here gear so you can see that shit um because I was pretty proud of it I'm dieting I had no problem I don't know if it's because I came up out of like a really big breakup like 
maybe that like fucked with my food or something. I just like I never got hungry on this diet. Like I'm like a fucking robot. Like it's it's crazy. It's just like I could drop my calories and not feel shit. And I, I and the weight was just coming off. You know, I mean, I went from 165 all the way down to 140 pounds. And uh, at 140, I decided to cut it off. I was gonna go a little lower. I didn't. You know, because you know I hate when people start. And this is like a big problem with dieting. I hate when people like start coming up to you and being like you're you're so fucking skinny you know because it's like you know i started out fat so i mean skinny used to be a compliment to me but it's just you know when people are coming up to you and being like you're so fucking skinny it's like do you know how much fucking work i put in every day to like not be skinny to like have muscle you know it just bothered me. Once I was at 140, you know, I mean, I, I was pretty cut up, you know. I'm currently weighing in at my, like I said, my goal weight, I only hit it one day. I only hit it one day, and then I had a, a, a cheat day. Like, I made a big cheat day right after, and then kind of cut back. I had, I had two light days, and now I'm, you know, slowly building my calories up. Just because I want the minimum amount of fat gain. I've been watching a lot of reverse dieting. Uh, videos on YouTube uh, with Eric Helms and uh, Jeff Nimrod, whatever the fuck his name is, and uh, and uh, Lane Norton. That big debate that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't finish it, but you know I've always, I've got the gist of how to reverse diet. I just uh, I just wanted some more input on it, and I really like the way Eric Helms says you know to add like 700 calories each day. Whenever you eat that little bit of fat back, then you uh, back off. See, I don't want to do that because I don't have any. I didn't have any like emotional or psychological flaws with this diet. Like I said, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why. Uh, in the past, when I've tried to diet, uh, I have had these uh, you know emotional problems with, with going you know really low. Uh, but then again, back then. I thought the best way to go was go like straight from 1500 calories to, to start out with, you know, and it, not walk it down any, which is, uh, God, I have an ugly smile. Uh, obviously, that is not the best way to do things. Uh, this time, I guess you could call it my first successful diet. I really would like to call it that um, because I definitely started my caloric consumption at like. 2,500 calories, and I was losing weight pretty well at 2,500 calories. I think I went from down to like 160 at 2,500 calories, and then I cut it back. Jeez. Um, I went back to Georgia when the hurricane hit, and uh, I just like quit eating, so I don't really know what my caloric consumption was there. I like eating it all, so you know, the weight just started coming off, and you know, I was working out a little bit. I just didn't feel like eating, and then you know, some days I would eat a lot, you know, and I did bring my scale up there so I could weigh myself, and you know, uh, I pretty much stayed consistent, so I guess I must have been, you know, somewhere around my main 150, I want to say, when I came back here to Florida after everything got a little bit more fixed. Um, I started being able to weigh myself consistently, and I have a food scale here, so I was able to weigh everything. And I'm, I'm like pinpoint accurate with the stuff. I don't track macros, maybe I should, but uh, I track calories and then just hit a protein because that works for me just well. It's not that serious, you know. I'm not competing, so maybe one day. Sorry, just looking at my tattoo. I fucking love this tattoo. God damn, I love that tattoo. Yeah, when I got back here, I was able to weigh things more uh, or as precise as I could get them. And, um, and I did that. I did that, uh, I started noticing, uh, because I have this little activity, uh, bracelet here, and as you can see, I think I have 11,503, yeah, 11,503 steps, I know it's backwards, I'm sorry, um, and this is like 30 bucks on Amazon, it works fucking phenomenally, uh, and what I was doing is I set my fitness pal to my basal metabolic rate. And then you can click on this watch 
and if you do this right here you still go up and then if you go into that it shoots up like that if you hit that I'll tell you calories burning right now I have 467 calories burned so what I was doing and I lost a, a good bit of weight doing this uh, for a little while not it because you gotta think it's, it's kind of like a maintenance thing um, but what I was doing is I was taking my basal metabolic rate and then I was eating these calories so uh, I would eat my basal metabolic rate which was like 1600 calories and then whatever this said is what I would eat and you know some days were higher some days were lower and it worked really uh, it, that worked phenomenally well for me so I, I know there's like a debate on using these fitness trackers for because they're not exactly accurate but um that worked really great for me um and then it stopped and then I plateaued and I plateaued at 146 I want to say it was right at 146 just could not get off 146 it was like 145.8 146 I was like god damn you know and that stayed like that for like a week and a half and I was just like geez I don't really want to drop the calories any lower I was scared you know of uh, I was just scared of dropping them, you know, and, you know, having negative effects like I have in the past, you know, of just not, not like the bodily effects, I guess, just more, more emotionally and, and psychologically, I guess, um, but anyway, I said fuck that, because I don't really care about myself too much, uh, <laughs> joke, and I, uh, stopped eating the calories that were on this thing. And uh, I was basically just eating my basal metabolic rate, which was like 1,600 calories. And uh, that started shredding. That started. That's when I started shredding. Really. I mean, that was when it just like it picked up. It kind of went into fucking overdrive. It was. It was nice. I was able to eat three meals on it. Never really felt hungry. Uh, the big. I guess it's kind of called intermittent fasting, but. I don't want to call it that because, like, I didn't have a time schedule and I didn't, like, set up a time schedule. I got to shave. Um, but what I would do is I'd just skip breakfast and uh, go to work. <laughs> go to work on an empty stomach. And I work construction. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, I'd go to work on an empty stomach and then get back home and then eat all my calories in. So, it, I was pretty full by the time I went to bed, which is the most important thing. The plateau... <laughs> At 141.8, didn't want to drop below my basal metabolic. I was already at 1600 calories, or 1700 calories, 1700 calories. And I think for my muscle mass, that's a good amount because I've been watching a lot of bodybuilders that look pretty much the same size, maybe not my height though, because I know that a lot of these bodybuilders are short and I'm not exactly short. So, uh, anyway, without that being said, uh, I didn't want to drop anymore go 100 calories without you know just because my goal weight was 140 it was just a mental thing i had to get to 140 140 is where i wanted to be at you know that was my goal so what i did is uh i usually was having the, these wraps and if you watch my day of eating videos you know that i have these wraps all the time you know it's basically like processed meat, or actually I think it's uncultured, which may mean not, I don't know what that means, but anyway, you know, like lunch meat, cheese, mayonnaise, and uh, I toast it and put it on, it's really fucking good, it's really fucking filling, um, and I was having those throughout the day, okay, well, whenever I stalled, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna take 100 calories, because I don't want to take any more calories out of this, I really don't, I don't want to go, you know, into 1400, or 13, or 12, fuck, you know, I don't want to do that, so, I took 100 calories that one day, and I switched my last meal, which was the wrap, which had some carbs in it, with a protein shake, oh, like a big, big protein shake, the ones that I usually uh, drink, just... I switched that meal out, and then I got on the scale the next morning, and I saw the numbers. I was 140.6, and I was just like, oh, thank God. Oh, dude, I was like, fuck it, hey, I could finally reverse diet, you know? 
and that's where I'm at now. So, my reverse diet, right now I'm at 1,800 calories, uh, so like I said, I was at 17 for the longest time, and then that last little one day of 1,600, and now I'm back up at 18. And, uh, 18 is a good amount, it needs to be more, I know it needs to be more, so... I'm just seeing what the scale does, cause you know, like I said, that weight uh, was 140.6, and right now I'm 144.5. So what I tried today, and and for some reason I think that's a digestive thing. I think it's because I wake up so early in the morning, uh, because I don't think that I've put on four pounds. There's no way, you know. <laughs> There's no way that I was at 141 for two, three weeks. I have one cheat day and then diet back and then do two deficit days and then are, are eating regular calories now and I'm up four pounds. No way. That's got to be water retention. That's got to be something. So, uh, that's what I'm checking. So today I did like an intermittent fast kind of like just to see, I just want to see if it's a digestive thing and not a calorie thing. Cause that way if I wake up and I'm maintaining tomorrow or even better yet if I lost a little bit then I'll throw another 100 calories on there and we'll just keep doing that until it plateaus and then I'll just keep on going up and hopefully get to keep this level of lean you know not saying I won't gain a little bit of fat but keep this level of lean all the way up into my maintenance which my maintenance back I mean it was like I don't know 3500 something like that 3500 so, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that, we're gonna check, we're gonna see, I'm sticking to my workout. Uh, yeah, that's the whole video, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm gonna label this one, uh, full day of eating and diet recap, because of this, so, thank you guys for watching, uh, there should be a subscribe button up here, in front of my face right now. And or subscribe, it's not really a button. You can't fucking click on it, so don't try to fucking click on it. Uh, but if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I know that a lot of people ain't watching this right now, but we're going to get there. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.